Oh god. Are we done here? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I'm not ready for this, holy crap. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Wellens. Welcome to Until Dawn. I don't think this needs much introduction, really. A lot of you have mentioned wanting to see me play Until Dawn, and that's why we're here today. But if you didn't know already, I'm very, very bad with horror games, to the point that I almost want to quit this game right now already. But I bought the game a few months ago, and, you know, I gotta crack it open sometime. I have seen, I think, around the first hour or so of this. I remember looking it up back when the game first came out, and I didn't have a PS4 and didn't think I would be getting one. But, well, here we are, with a PS4, with Until Dawn. Yeah, not sure if this is a good thing for my soul or not, but... Oh yeah, the other reason I wanted to play this now was because I originally planned on playing this in October because Halloween and all, but I'm going to be away starting on the 30th until mid-November. Should probably make another video about that, but in any case, I'll be away and missing Halloween, which means no scary stuff. So I figured we could just play this a little bit early, get it out of the way so I can have a nice scareless Halloween. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, oh, the other thing I know about this is that there's autosave in this game at every corner, which means I can't undo any choices, and if anyone dies, they're dead. They're dead for good. I'll try my best not to blow out your eardrums, but I do expect that I'll be doing a lot of screaming. That's a heads up. <sighs> okay, I think we can start now. Okay, let's go. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Of course, a staple of the time-traveling genre, although I don't think Until Dawn has any time-traveling elements to it. The smallest decision can dramatically... Okay. <laughs> Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Oh my god, are we on the wing of a butterfly? Wow. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. We got our cabin in the woods. Snowy, snowy night. Oh god. on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. I don't like these people already. <laughs> Hannah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. This weekend. Josh. Perfect. Teenager stranded in the middle of the woods.
Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., winky face. Mike. Okay, suddenly everything becomes clear. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh! Uh, intervention time. Our sister? So this girl here is Hannah's sister. Beth is Hannah's sister. Is Josh also Hannah's brother? Which one's Josh? Jeremiah Craig. Lots of booze. Great combination. Jeez, Josh. But that's Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. I got your note. Glad you can make it. <laughs> Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Who says that? Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. Butterfly tattoo. Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Uh oh. Okay. Wake Josh or find others. Wake Josh, he's right here. Josh. Josh. Oh, Fuck. come on. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Oh no. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. <laughs> what did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? Yes! You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, but still! Now you have two oh, girls out there alone. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got this. Ah, uh, uh, safe, safe, safe. We can't rescue Hannah if we're hurt too, so we gotta play it safe. Oh, I don't know how my QTE skills are doing today. Ah, uh, ah, uh, footprints, footprints. Forget the noise. Footprints is where she went. Or the other guy. Uh-oh. You kidding me? Oh! Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Wrong kind of footprints. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Neat. Oh. Hannah. Light stick. Okay. I don't imagine a phone would be that useful here. It's just a little phone in the middle of the night. In a snowstorm. Get out of here. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Ten minutes in. Oh my god. What's a death totem? Totem prophecies. Black. 
death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we picked up one totem, which means we got that one little red bar at the bottom field there, which is nothing. Oh, there is death, guidance, loss, danger, and fortune. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that totem, the person in there just now, was Hannah. So we better hurry the hell up instead of looking at some rock on the ground. Oh god. Huh? What? Don't think. Hannah! Go. This is really silly though. You should have brought someone with you. If Hannah is gonna go. If Hannah's gonna get lost in the oh, Hannah. oh, thank God. Hello, Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Ah. Uh. Hannah. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, please! Oh, oh, don't drop! Don't drop! Remember the totem! Don't drop! Monster? Oh god! No! No, we can't drop Hannah! We can't! We can't! We can't! We can't! No, we can't drop Hannah by herself! Oh shit! Fuck! Shit! Two people dead! Ah, oh, I wonder if I could have saved Beth. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? This guy is so freaky. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Should I answer as myself? Wow, that's not creepy at all. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Hmm. I definitely don't feel happy because of the scarecrow in the foreground. 
Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The Scarecrow. Should I tell him? Dr. AJ Hill? He's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The Scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Um, no, I get lonely really easily. I get scared in my own house when the lights are off, so no, I wouldn't. Oh no? Why not? I'd be... <laughs> I'd be lonely and scared. <laughs> well, between one or the other, it would be scared, I guess. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? The lack of people? Jesus. I'm not sure. It's not that something on the picture is scaring me, it's what's not on the picture that's scaring me. If there were a lot of people, I would be okay. Huh, that's Maybe. Interesting. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? The thing that's driving you fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? But the next time. <laughs> is it mean if I say something is wrong with this guy's face? <laughs> he kind of scares me a little bit. Oh! Why are we back here? Until dawn. Hmm. I said I've seen this before, the beginning, but I honestly don't even remember half of this stuff. Judging by the totems on the ground, I think there's probably an indigenous influence. And there were those tribal thingies just now, too. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Well, that was their lodge. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Sanatorium? The officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after 
what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together. You know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> hmm. I guess we just all assume that Beth and Hannah aren't here anymore. Josh? The way he's acting is not how I would act if that's something that's happening to me, but grief, grief is strange. Grief happens to people differently, makes them act differently, react differently. And he's right, Hannah and Beth would probably... Actually, I don't know about that, but they, they might be happy that the group is still together, even though over half of those people there were jackasses for pulling that prank in the first place, which led to Hannah's death, but we'll forget about that for now. Blackwood Hines. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Is dawn when this game ends? Already? Already? Sam. Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. I like her already because she was like the only person in that room that said, Hey guys, this is a stupid prank. Well, that, hey, what? But the person was behind us. We go behind. Hmm. All right. Can we get some camera? Can we get some flashlight going on here? I would never go up to a place like this by myself. And frankly, I don't think they should either. It's quite dangerous. Objects that glint. I don't see. Oh, okay. The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? Chris. <sighs> Damn it. Who's Chris? <laughs> One of the people. So someone's here before me. That that's good. Safe. Oh lord. Climb. <sighs> These QTEs are making me really nervous. I have a sticky note on my monitor with the layout of the PS4 controller just in case. <laughs> Footprints anywhere. Are we late? Walk a little bit faster. Oh, Aww. Jesus Christ. Hey, little fella. You hungry? When the huh? don't move icon is on the screen. <laughs> Cutie. If you're unsure what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. Oh, we're not even there yet. K 
cable car. Oh, character traits. Honest, charitable, not very funny, brave, not very romantic, curious. Relationship? Hmm, if Hannah was still here, I guess she would be at the top, but that's not a thing anymore. It seems like we're not particularly close to anyone here anymore. If I were her, I honestly wouldn't come. <laughs> What's the stuff at the top? Oh. Okay. Totems. Clue one, not found. Well, hopefully we'll find it sooner or later. Oh! I'm okay. I'm okay. I hope you are too. So far, so good. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. Just the occasional jump scare. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black as death. Prophesize the dreamer's death. Huh. Red is dangerous events. Brown is loss. Tragedy affecting friends? Loss? So not death, but just some kind of loss? Hmm. Guidance. Yellow. Yellow butterflies. Offered visions to help and guide. So when we see a yellow butterfly, we should do... Uh, we should do the thing that will lead to what we see in that yellow butterfly. White. Brought dreams of good luck and fortune. So follow that one too. Okay. Alright. Oh! Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yep. Can I pick it up? No, that's not it. What's it gonna be? Not black, not black, not brown, not brown. Yellow! What? <laughs> the future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. What was that? Can I see that one again? There's a crow! And who is that? Is that Mike? Okay. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll roll with it. <laughs> It's a prophecy, not a walkthrough. It's not going to be clear. Uh-oh. The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here? Hmm. Maybe one of us did it. There's the cable car. Oh. Not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? And it's not snooping. We're just picking the phone up for him, in case if it's important. Aha. Yeah. Look who it is. Why would a message by? Oh my Jesus Christ! Chris's defining quality is, has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Is he a math guy? A science guy? Methodical? Oh, and Ashley texted him. Looking good for him. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I, sorry. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Uh-oh. He might not like me anymore. <laughs> Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Okay. What about... 
What about the door? Of course. Of course. Okay, what's gonna blow my mind? Oh. What's that thing up there? The mask. Is that just a cloth? It it's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah. I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Victor Milgram? Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Ooh. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Wanted in connection with a first-degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Arson! Arson! It's probably that guy we saw a year ago. Last seen March 16, 1998. I don't know what year it is currently, but if it's 1999, hmm. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BC BPMC, Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. As soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted... Okay. Yeah. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and, and increase your chances of survival. Okay. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Oh, okay. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties what am I looking at? That comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Is it really okay? He's gonna shoot a gun? Okay. Seems like a bad choice, but that's what teenagers are made of, huh? Wow, you're a good shot. Timer. We have a timer. Wow, nice shooting text. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No! Don't shoot that! No! Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. We've been playing for a while now, and one thing that's kind of concerning me is that the frame rate in this game is goddamn atrocious. Now we're playing as Chris. Why is it so bad? I know it's not my PC because this is on the PS4. It's a little distracting. Really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Yeah. If I see something, I don't need to make a different character see it. Correct. It looks like we'll be switching controls of characters fairly often. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Ooh. What do we do then? My backpack? No, nope, my backpack, I'm carrying it already.
By the way, can I see that thing again? Honest, charitable, funny, not very brave, kind of romantic, curious. Unaffected relationship with Sam, although I thought that snooping earlier would have made him not like her as much. Good to see that's not the case. person gonna come in here then <laughs> what a crazy place to set up house I mean, no matter how rich you are they're not so rich they only block mountain <laughs> blackwood pine hotel and sanatorium for a healthy body and mind I thought the car was closer guess we gotta wait I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range how long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. What the hell? Yeah. So beautiful. Why are there cameras? It just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Fall. <laughs> well, I can imagine why they would want to keep this place locked up computer although that monitor what is up with that someone's monitoring the house shouldn't it be the other way around the house monitoring the station finally you coming yeah well i was gonna stay here and catch some z's but okay On the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay. So. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and wow. to this day. A match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. How meta of you to mention that. 